Is five months enough to complete the quant syllabus for CAT? So the short answer to this frequently asked question is definitely yes, it is possible to. So if it was not possible, I would not have been creating this video and you also would not have been watching this. So clearing it out, yes, it's possible. Even if you're an absolute beginner or you have not done maths in your plus two, then also it is possible to complete. Yes, if you are just starting out, then probably you have to put a little bit more effort, probably two to three hours every day. However, you can still get a good percentile if you start preparing now. So let's understand how you should be using this video. In this video, I will give you a detailed week-wise plan on which topic to prepare in which week, which materials you should use, when you should start revising, when you should give the mocks, when you should give the sectionals, etc. So make a checklist of which topic to prepare in which week and place it on your table, print it on your table, whatever you wish to do. However, make sure that you are sticking to that schedule. Now there's no time to waste. So you should make sure to score a good percentile. You stick to the schedule very diligently. So the first topic that you should start with is definitely arithmetic. A lot of questions in the quant paper come from this particular section and it is one of the most high scoring topics as well. You will take approximately one month to cover the entire arithmetic topic. And as far as the schedule goes, first week or the first month, you should start with percentages and ratio and proportion. Second week of the first month, you should cover simple interest, compound interest, profit loss and mixtures and allegation. Third week, you should cover time, speed and distance and also revise simple interest, compound interest and profit and loss that you had covered previously. And in the fourth week, you should cover time and work and revise time, speed and distance that you had covered in the third week. So the second topic that you should be preparing is number system. You can also go with algebra if you want. However, my personal recommendation would be number system because you can cover this topic in two weeks time. So for the second month, in the first week, you should be covering properties of numbers, divisibility rules, finding out the last digits, last two digits and the number of trailing zeros. And in the first week of the second month, you should also be revising the time speed distance that you had done in the previous month. And for the second week, you should be covering the remainders, which will include your Fermat's theorem, Euler theorem, Wilson's theorem, cyclicity, etc. Base systems and bases, factors, HCF and LCM. And in the second week, you should also be revising the profit and loss topic that you had covered in the first month. So now coming to the third topic that is algebra in the third week of the second month, you should be covering algebraic formula, linear equation, quadratic and higher degree equation, and also should start giving arithmetic sectionals. Now these sectionals usually come bundled with mock test series that you purchase from any institute. So these are usually seven to eight questions that you have to cover in probably 15 minutes. So you should be attempting at least four of these sectionals in the third week of the second month. So in the fourth week of the second month, you should be covering maxima minima, inequalities, logarithm, functions and graphs and also revise number system in this particular week. First week of the third month, you should be covering binomial theorem and cover arithmetic sectionals again and at least attempt four of them again in this week. And in the second week of the third month, you should be covering sequences and series and also attempting number sectionals. Now, again, you should be covering at least four of these number sectionals in the second week of the third month. So now coming to the next topic that is geometry, you should be able to cover geometry in about three weeks. So we are there in the third week of the third month where you should be covering triangles. In the fourth week of the third month, you should be covering circles. And in the first week of the fourth month, you should be covering mensuration and trigonometry. Remember, now that you have completed algebra, every week you should be covering full length quant sectionals. These sections will be about like 40 minutes in time. So every week you should be attempting at least two full length quant sectionals from now onwards. And now moving to the next and the final topic in our preparation, we are there in the second week of the fourth month. So here you should be covering set theory and permutation and combination in the second week of the fourth month. And in the third week of the fourth month, you should be covering probability. And that should be it for your con syllabus. So in four months time, you would have covered the entire con syllabus. However, remember here as well, every week you are appearing for at least two full length con sectionals. And the fifth month should be entirely for revision and full length mock tests. Remember, you should be giving at least two full length mock tests every week in the fifth month. If possible, try to attempt three because that is going to be really, really useful. I didn't talk about the full length mock test in the previous months because that also includes your verbal and LRDI preparation. However, a general rule of thumb you can imagine is four months prior to CAT, you should be attempting at least one full length mock per week. And after that, 
two full length mocks per week. This will ensure that you cover your end to end preparation and are ready for the exam as well. And as far as preparation for these topics go, if you are taking any coaching, it's well and fine. You do not have to do anything extra. However, if you are self preparing, then you can use any standard book, say Arun Sharma, or you can even watch YouTube videos. If you are using a standard book like Arun Sharma, then I would suggest you to first read the theory, then do the example problems very diligently, and then quickly go through the LOD one and LOD two exercises. When I say quickly go through it, do not solve each and every problem in the exercise. Suppose you start with the first problem, then solve the fifth one, then ninth one, and so on. This will ensure that you are not wasting a lot of time on the exercise and also covering the entire range of questions. And as far as revision of the topics go, you should have already noted down the important formula and the important problems that you couldn't solve in the first attempt. And this revision should not take more than one hour because everything should be present at one particular place. All the important formula and all the important problems. So this was a five month roadmap to quant preparation. Let me know in comments if you have any doubt and let me know if you need a similar roadmap for verbal and LRDS section as well. And do subscribe if you haven't yet.